Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leafer back again and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here with a different type of video. I know you guys are usually used to um, Hockey Ultimate Team content on the channel, but today we are doing a franchise mode. Now, if you guys are, uh, you know, living under a rock, you guys don't know this, but roster sharing was just shared um, or was just updated into the game not too long ago. And today I found a pretty cool build made by my boy, Snipe and Score. So as you can see here, we downloaded the throwback 07, uh, 06, 07. Uh, Snipe and Score YT. I'm gonna leave a link to his Twitter down below. Uh, him, Two E Tactics. They've been grinding out uh, some customer rosters. So today, what we will be doing is we will be going into franchise mode. It's gonna be a cup or bust with the 06, 07 Toronto Maple Leafs. Now the beautiful thing about this is. Uh, I want to make this a series. So after this episode, I need you guys to comment in the comment section below uh, what team you want to see next from the 06, 07 uh, build. Uh, so today is going to be the Leafs. If you want to see the Canadians, you want to see the Senators uh, in the next episode, any other NHL team, let me know in the comment section below. So here we go. Uh, enter GM name. We are GM Leafer. Hopefully that's uh, okay. It is. So continue. And as you can see here, our top players, Matt and Dean, Thomas Caberle, Brian McCabe. Very cool to see. I'm interested to see, like, oh, okay, you could take out teams. Okay, cool. All right, so um, here we are. We are going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, so the Vegas Golden Knights are in here. I, I don't know how that works, um, but interesting. Um, but, yeah, okay, any, anyway, uh, continue. Career, so owner mode on, uh, fantasy draft off, salary cap on, GM firing, I mean, we're going to turn that off. Headline, uh, head coach edits lines. Um, okay, fog of war. Player morale, I want that off. CPU trades, sure. Auto owner mode, okay, cool. So, uh, let's continue here. It's going to be a one-year sim. Uh, make sure everything here is good. Uh, we're going to turn injuries off for the um, regular season, but once playoffs come, if we do make playoffs, injuries will be turned on. Let's start up this career, keep salary cap on, obviously, and here we go. All right, so here we go. So looking at our team, we got to do this stuff. I forgot to turn it off, so uh, that is what it is. We don't have to worry about that for the one year, but I do want to see what the lines are looking like here. We're going to get some nostalgia here looking at these lines and looking here. Uh, head coach can help. We'll turn that off. We got Alexander Steen, Matt Sundin, and Jeff O'Neill, Darcy Tucker, Kyle Wellwood, Alexi Ponikarovsky, uh, Bates Bataglia, Nick Andropov, Michael Pekka, uh, John Pohl, Matt Stajan, and Chad Kilger. Oh my goodness gracious. This this is just a huge throwback. Looking on defense here, we got Thomas Cabrile playing with Pavel Kubina, uh, Ian White with Brian McCabe, Hal Gale with Wade Belak, and then in net, we got Andrew Raycroft and John Sebastian Aubin. Oh my goodness, boys. I, I love this. This is amazing. This is actually so great. Uh, who do we have scratched here? Um, no one. Okay, so... This is what the team's looking like. We're going to try to get these lines to look a little bit better here. Uh, so give me one second. All right, so this is the best I can make this team. we got a plus two overall on the first line. So for Ponikarovsky, Sundin, and James, or Jeff O'Neill, they'll be plus two. These guys stay the same overall. And then a plus one to our fourth line, which is nice. And our defense, I didn't really want to change anything. Plus five for the top pairing. Plus one for McCabe and White. And plus one for Hal Gill and Wade Belak. And then our power play is looking pretty good. Plus five on the first unit, plus two on the second unit. And uh, it's looking pretty good, boys. The team's looking good. I'm excited to see how this goes. Um, so let's start with the preseason, I guess. So uh, I'm excited to see what the other teams have in store too, man. We're going to take this um, like a day at a time. I kind of want to see other teams and what they're looking like here. Uh, view owner goals. Um, okay, so this doesn't really matter. Like, we're, we're not really in for that. We just want to see how this team does, man, and uh, see if we can uh, win a cup with this team in one year. I, I think it's possible. You never know, though. You really never know. So, preseason didn't go too well for us. 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. Uh, That's okay, I guess. Uh, so, we're playing Montreal and Ottawa back-to-back, -back, dude. Um, so, you know what? For the first game, I want to simulate it. I want to see what players Montreal has. I want to see how we do on opening night. So here we go. First period, 1-0. Saku Koivu scores on Andrew Raycroft. 
Okay, second period, 1-1. Matt Stajan gets the first goal of the season for your Toronto Maple Leafs. And we will sim the third period to see how it goes here. Come on, Toronto, I need to see a goal. Bonk, I don't remember that name. Scores on Andrew Raycroft, making it a 2-1 hockey game. And Saku Koivu scores his second of the night and second of the season to make it a 3-1 hockey game. Still plenty of hockey left to be played. Uh, the Leafs looking to score one to try to claw back in. Matt Stajan with a second of the night. Three to go here. Can we tie it up and force OT? We cannot. A very f good first game of the season. Shots were even at 30 apiece. Stajan getting two goals. Koivu with two goals. Looking at the three stars. Yeah, uh, pretty much what I just said. Uh, good game. Uh, we go on to the next one and we try to win it. All right, so let's simulate a month here. Uh, we will go to the first I don't know who would be on Vegas, so uh, not a great start to the season here. Uh, we got a trade. Carolina's giving us Adams. We're trading away Crow. Um, let me look at this trade. I kind of want to just stay with the OG 06, 07 team. I don't think I should be accepting any trades, in all honesty. Uh, Adams, who are you? Unknown. Uh, there's literally no point in doing that. So let's just continue to simulate. We have yet to win a game this season. We win one in a shootout against the Rangers. Uh, we are on a little bit of a winning streak there. We take an L, but that's okay. So after one month, we are 4, 5, and 0. Oh. Not the greatest. We are sitting 6 in the Atlantic Division. Uh, not too far behind other teams, though, which is great. Looking at our team leaders here, Michael Pekka le looks to be leading the team in points, which is nice. He has 11. Kyle Wellwood with 10. Thomas Caverlet with 7. Matt Sundin, the captain, with 6. Uh, who's leading in goals? Michael Pekka and then Pavel Kubina. We need we need some more goal scoring here. And how's our goaltenders uh, doing here? Andrew Rakoff. Andrew Raycroft is 2-4-0, not the greatest, an 8.85 save percentage, not good. Uh, we need our goaltending to be better, to say the least. So um, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to simulate the month here. Um, actually, you know what? We'll do a quick simulation. Let's see what team we want to play, what, uh, what they're looking like. I kind of want to see what the Flyers and the Flames are looking like, so we'll simulate till then. And uh, we'll do that. So a uh, little winning streak to start the month out here. Things you'll love to see. We move to 7-6-0 as we take on the Philadelphia Flyers on the road. So here we go. First period. It's a 1-0 hockey game. Sam Gagne uh, scores on Raycroft. Okay. Second period. 2-1 hockey game. We got Chad Kilger and Jeff O'Neill scoring here. Both... Uh, both getting some big goals here, all right? Third period, it's a one-goal hockey game. Shots are even at 17 apiece. We need that insurance marker to feel a little bit safe here. Who's going to be? I want to see Matt Sundin score a goal for us here. I'll be honest with you guys. Matt Sundin, can you pull one in for the Leafs here? Come on. We're, we're, it's, a, it's a grindy game here. It's a one-goal game with two to go. Come on. Can the Leafs stick it out? And they do. They win a 2-1 to one hockey game against the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, Raycroft, we said we needed better goaltending. We got it from him. And Jeff O'Neill with a goal and three hits. Things you love to see. Uh, so we're going to move on to Calgary here. I, I kind of want to see what Calgary and Buffalo is looking like. So we're going to simulate those two games as well. Uh, decline any trades that come our way here. So here we go. Playing the Calgary Flames on home ice. Uh, first period, it's a 0-0 hockey game. Okay, okay. Second period, 1-0 hockey game. Bates Bataglia scoring on Mika Kiprasov. Mika Kiprasov, my mistake. Oh my goodness, the nostalgia I'm getting from seeing some of these names here, man. I love it, dude. I miss I miss watching these teams. I'll be honest with you here. So let's see if the Leafs can get an insurance marker. Alexander Steen puts one past Mika Kiprasov from a very weird angle. 2-0 hockey game. Things you love to see. We got five to go here. Can we stick it out to get back-to-back -back wins? Two to go. And it looks like the Toronto Maple Leafs are getting a win here, and it's a shutout win. Who was in there for the Leafs? It wasn't Raycroft. Raycroft, I said we need a better goaltending. He gets a 31 save shutout. Things you'll love to see. Base Bataglia getting a second star with a goal. And Mika Kiprasov had a 933 save percentage. He played outstanding too. Just couldn't get any goal support in that game. So we play a back-to-back. -back. We're playing the Sabres next, who are doing pretty decent this year as well. So I kind of want to see what the Sabres team is looking like. So here we go. First period. It's a 1-0 hockey game. I don't know that name. I'll be honest with you. We got Aubin in that tonight. So it's a 1-0 hockey game after one. Second period, it's a 1-1 hockey game. Michael Pekka scoring on Ryan Miller, man. The battles the Leafs used to have against the Buffalo Sabres and Ryan Miller was absolutely insane. He would always, always play amazing against us and we couldn't do much about it in all honesty. So here we go. 
Third period, we got to kill off a penalty, and we we do it. But Jason Palmerville scores not too later, not too later after. And then Thomas Vanek scoring two minutes after, and it looks like the Leafs are gonna be losing this game. We get a one to try to make a comeback. We don't do it. It's a three-two hockey game. That's okay by me. Uh, well played. We tried our hardest. Vanek with a goal. Palmerville with a goal. And uh, I don't know who that is in all honesty. So uh, we lose a game there after winning, what, it was two in a row there. So it is what it is. We're going to simulate the rest of the month here and see how we do. Uh, we need to pick up some more wins. Keep this record looking nice. Uh, stop with the trades. Thank you very much. Oh, these losses are hurting our soul. We are on a huge losing streak here. Can we pick up a win to end the month? We pick up a 3 nothing win there. We are 10-13-0. That isn't the greatest, man. We are sitting 8th in the Atlantic right now. That is not good. But again, not too far behind. Uh, but we do need to pick up the pace. Um, Matt Sundin, we were asking more from our captain. He's he's doing more for us. He's leading us in points. Pekka right behind him. Wellwood right behind him. Leading goals is Michael Pekka. Sundin right behind him. Same with Jeff O'Neill. Looking at our goaltending situation. Uh, Raycroft's looking better. Picked up two shutouts in that month, which is great. Uh, we, I don't know, man. I, maybe we got to switch up the lines a little bit here. So I'm going to switch Pekka and Tucker. Just see if that does anything. I'm not too sure. Uh, Pataglia will keep there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Like I, I don't know what else to really change here. Maybe spread out the pluses here. Uh, that might be a good idea, so let's do that and uh, see how this goes, all right? I, I don't know if that's going to do much for us. We're going to see. So we're going to simulate the month here. So let's do that. Hopefully, we can do good, and we are going to see what we can do here. So 2-1 loss, 3-2 uh, loss. My goodness, this is not good. We are on a huge losing streak. We need to pick up wins, not L's here, boys. Come on, 7-1 win against the Blackhawks. That's huge. Picking up a little bit of a winning streak here. Things you like to see. Okay, not the greatest here. 6-4 win, 2-1 win, and a 4-1 loss. We are 16-20-0. Uh, that's not good. Like, let's just be honest here. We do move up one one spot in the, the Atlantic here, but it, it's not looking good for our chances here. This is looking like a bust of a season with the Toronto Maple Leafs. So uh, we're going to simulate against the Senators, who are 28-7-1. They're having themselves one hell of a year. Uh, first period, we're down 2-0. Uh, Antoine Vermette and Danny Healy. Like, this Senators team is absolutely unreal. Second period. It's a 3-3 hockey game, though. Mastasian gets one back for us on Martin Gerber. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Patrick Eves gets one on Raycroft. And then Wellwood and uh, Jeff O'Neill. Uh, get two to tie it up. So we have ourselves a hockey game here. 3-3, three, three, heading into the third. The Leafs are looking for an upset win. Let's be honest, the Senators team should be blowing by us with the way they're doing the season. We're taking so many penalties, but we're killing them off. Power play of our own, can't convert. another. That was three penalties in this period. Can we stop here, team? Thanks. All right, come on. Who's going to be the saving grace here in Toronto? We're going to overtime, and guess what? We're going to intervene. So I do want to see... I do want to see... Uh, who wins this? So CPU versus CPU game. We got the Toronto Maple Leafs against the Ottawa Senators. Let's see what we can do here. This is going to be an interesting overtime period. There we go. True broadcast is now good to go. Let's see who can win this. We got Sundin wearing 15 for some reason. Interesting. Okay, I don't know about these player numbers. Spezza with a shot. Great save by Andrew Raycroft. Oh, big block from Sundin here. Danny Heatley trying to center it there. Pavel Kubina off to the races here. He's looking to get something done. He loses it to Jason Spezza. He gets it back. Matt Sundin, Kubina, Pavel Kubina. What a save from Martin Gerber. Over across, and the Leafs win it. Kyle Wellwood in overtime. Huge win against the great Ottawa Senators. Things you love to see. Leafs take a 3-2 to two, or 4-3 to three in overtime. Let's go. That was a gritty win from our Toronto Maple Leaf team. We love to see it. Like the Senators, man, are absolutely raking it. They're they're first in the NHL right now, and we were able to take them in overtime. So that's a that's a moral dub for this team. Uh, so let's simulate the rest of the month here. See what we can do. Game against Carolina, we lose in overtime. Not the greatest, and we're back to our losing ways, man. It, it looks like this year is gonna be a bust for your Toronto Maple Leafs. It hurts to see, man. It really does. I wanted to see what this team could do in the playoffs, and clearly, uh, they're not gonna do much because they're not gonna make it here. So, at the end of what four or five months, we are twenty-two, twenty-five, and two. 
We are still seventh in the Atlantic. Uh, still a lot of time to catch up, man. But the way it's going, it's not looking great here. Um, and I don't know what we could do to change it here. Maybe try to get some more pluses overalls here. I don't think dropping Sundin to um, this second line makes much sense. But hey, we'll try it out. All right, so we dropped Sundin to the second line. I, I don't think it's going to make much difference. But we're going to see here we don't have much hockey left to be played here. What is with this break? Maybe it's an Olympic break. I'm not sure what exactly it is. But we're going to simulate the month, 28 days here. Uh, let's see what we can do here. A shootout win against the Devils is absolutely huge. So we pick up the two points there. We can we, we need as many points as we can get here if it wasn't obvious here, boys. So 5-2 loss, not great. Natural Predators have fired their head coach. Okay, 4 nothing win there. That's good. So we're 25-26-2. and two. Uh, We are currently 7th, still 7th. Uh, we got a lot of catching up to do, man. Uh, I think this season's going to be a bust, to say the least, here. We're going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the month here. It's just a little sad. I'll be honest with you. It's, it's pretty sad. So uh, let's keep it going here. Yeah, yeah, we're fine with that. Uh, we need to pick up wins here. Need to pick up wins. Let's keep it going here, boys. Um, I think we've been picking up more wins since we dropped Sundin down as we're on a losing streak here. So maybe not. I, I don't know. This, is, this, this definitely does suck. We'll say we're a seller, but we're not... Uh, we're not entering the trade deadline. We're not changing this team up at all. We're going to try to win out with this team. We need to go. We probably need to win out if we want to try and push for the playoffs. At the end of March, we are 32, 32, and 2. So we're above 500 technically. In the Atlantic, still in seventh place. The Bruins are falling far behind. Well, we still got a lot of room to, to, to make up here. And I don't think it's going to happen here. Uh, we got a month left. Uh, so let's see what we can do in this month here, right? Come on, Toronto. We need a big push. We need to win out, essentially. I think that's our best bet here. We pick up a three-game winning streak there, which was nice. We're winning games, to be fair, here. Is it possible? I don't know. I don't know. We need to keep winning here. These losses at the end of the season ain't great. Two losses in a row. A game against Boston. We finished 41-39-2. Typical Leaf fashion to finish in the middle of the pack kind of thing. We're second last as I say that. Uh, 84 points in the season. Looking here, I mean, middle of the pack in the NHL pretty much. Sundin ended up finishing with 69 points in 82 games. Nice. Um, so that's something. Uh, so looking here at the leaders. 69 points in 82 games. Wellwood with 60 and 82. O'Neal with 59 and 82. Ponikarovsky with 48 and uh, 82. Uh Jeff O'Neill ended up leading the Leafs with uh, most goals, tying with Ponikarovsky here. Uh, interesting thing. So uh, Pekka wasn't too far behind them. And then looking at our goaltending situation, a 9.06 on the, on the season ain't bad. 36 and 32 for Raycroft isn't too bad. Aubin went 5 and 8 with an 8.96. So our backup goaltending wasn't the greatest, uh, but it is what it is. So regular season has ended. We're going to simulate the rest to see who wins the cup. So give me a second here. So the Stanley Cup champions are the Tampa Bay Lightning. I guess things haven't changed since 2006 to current year. The Tampa Bay Lightnings are now your Stanley Cup champions. We're going to go check all the uh, trophies. See if the Leafs cleaned up in any of, the, any of this. I, I don't think we did. Uh, but the Tampa Bay Lightning are Stanley Cup champions. Uh, the President's Trophy went to the Avalanche. Uh, Clarence S. Campbell went to the Stars. Prince of Wales went to the Lightning. Uh, okay, so those are all the team awards. Looking at individual rewards, uh, the Air Ross went to Marion Gabrick. The Hart Memorial went to Martin St. Louis. The James Norris went to Scott Niedermeyer. Lady Bing went to Marion Gabrick. That's two awards for him. Three awards now. Uh, Calder Memorial going to Marion Gabrick. Uh, Constamith going to Dennis. Vesna Trophy going to, oh my god, Huet. That's a throwback name. Vesna to Huet as well. Our Jennings to uh, Huet. Mark Stahl, okay, we don't count that. Uh, Jack Adams, okay. Frank J. Selkie going to Pavel Datsuk, none other than the man himself. Ted Lindsay going to Martin St. Louis. And the Maurice Richard Trophy going to Marion Gabrick. Uh, he cleaned up with four trophies. So uh, pretty cool to see. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. It sucks that we couldn't win the cup with the Leafs. It is what it is. But I need you guys to let me know in the comment section below what team we are choosing next for the next time we do a cup or bust with an 06 07 team. Let me know in the comment section below. But guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, but like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!